And in our objectives, we are going to look at our central land, how they are filled with natural resources, some of the headline review or headline news review. We'll also look at the Biafra genocide, the habinga of current Nigerian killings. The next, we'll look at the tools for colonialism and new colonialism and how we are going to get to the end of the road for these religious predators because they are everywhere. That's why the more churches we build, the more evil takes over our land. That's why we have more churches than industries, leaving our young ones with nothing to do, with nothing to do. And then we are going to decapitate the tools of horror in your ancestral land and the feedback that we're getting from public. And we cannot end without looking at the five point agenda as a reminder as to why we are here on a weekly basis to tell you what we need to do to move forward. It's a no brainer at this point. First, your estate, your Usman Danfodio estate. Their children are going around, or his children is going around, killing people every day, while even during Christmas celebration. So while you're getting ready to cook rice and they cook stew, some villagers are being attacked, even mothers with children, breastfeeding children on their backs. This is, this is the highest level of wickedness because they told us that they must ruthlessly prevent a change of power. They will use the minorities of the North as a willing to, thanks to uh, Yakoa, Yakuba, Kosanya are gonna go on. Hmm? And then they will use us as a con uh, conquered territory and they will never allow us to rule ourselves while they work to have control over our future and make sure that the colonial interest is maintained at all costs. These brown people, these wicked, demonic brown people are willing to work for the colonialists in 2024 at the expense of their people. The Fulani conquest agenda. It has been ongoing, ongoing in that place that you call Nigeria, that open air prison called Nigeria, the place that anything bad can easily happen to you. You don't count for anything. Everybody else in this world they do have some kind of right. You as a Nigerian, you are treated as a hundred class second, one million citizen with all your educations, with all your positions, with all your accolades. Collectively, nobody recognizes any of us. We are monkeys and baboons parading around the world on economic exile. Let's look at our ancestral land how they are full of resources. You see the map on the left? I love this map. So it gives you an idea how much. This is just the, um, the you know, the, the peripheral because we couldn't go deeper uh, just to make it easier for visualization. Please continue to help us to hit the like button. Hit the like button for us. Continue to help us to hit the like button. Continue to share as we go get this information to other people. We need to understand what is doing us because if we understand what is doing us and who our enemies are, we will not be kidnapping our people. We will not be destroying our region. We will not be terrorizing our brothers and sisters. We can now face that common enemy and say our enemies, because there are so many of them, and say enough, of, enough is enough. We are going back to our roots, which says that I am because you are. You are because I am that we must care for each other first more than anything else. Capitalists can wait. Capitalism can wait. Love among brothers and sisters first. So for example, teen, iron, columbite in Joyce, Plateau, we are talking about $25,000 per ton daily that they sell $25,000 per ton. So imagine how many that they are uh, bringing out in a year, I mean a day. When you look at the whole total amount, we are thinking about 3.8 trillion uh, tons in a day. So times that by $25,000. So you can begin to appreciate the number of money that we uh, that is in, in play here. 
So you can see that's why the Western criminals, that's why they seek to neutralize everyone in their pathway. So they can control, they can uh, con continue to maintain uh, control over the resources in our land. It's not enough. They don't have anything. But every time I, we turn around, they are taking things from Africa. <laughs> they are stealing things from Africa. Slavery is not enough to come and build their own uh, region. It's not enough. As of 2023, they are still destroying people on a day before Christmas, on Christmas Day, after Christmas. It's not enough that they did uh, the balkanization of Africa in 1884-1885. It's not enough for them. They've been stealing and stealing and taking. When we tell you that these people are dumb, you think it's a joke. Tell me who can be stealing trillions for 500 years and they are still struggling. Tell me. And you talk about, you make fun of your forefathers that never stole from anyone. That never went from their land and go and steal from someone. Talk less of stealing unabated for years and still stealing, but they are the nice people and your forefathers are the bad people. Let's look at the colonialism, the so-called direct route through military and political uh, ways. And then from colonialism, they jump to new colonialism, or to Naneha. Look at all the resources that we have. Natural uh, gas, petroleum, crude oil, uranium, cotton, iron, gold, oil, cocoa beans, just name it. Diamonds, copper, gold, aluminium. The list is unending. The list is unending. Please continue to help us to hit the like button. Continue to help us to hit the like button. Awakening is happening. People are asking questions. People are doing research. People are learning more. We are identifying the criminals from the good ones because they cannot all wear suits and sit there. We can't. We don't know who is who. We know who is who now. Then let's look at some headline news. As all of this is going on, <laughs> they will be writing news for us as if we don't know how to read, as if we are not hearing what is going on. Hmm? This one says, terror escalates as unconstitutional president looks for legitimacy and lobbies everyone to support his criminal government. That's a good one. Hmm? He doesn't know what to do. He didn't come to serve you. He came to serve the colonial interest. So his only job is to make sure that all the resources is taken out of the land on, uh, uh, in, uninterrupted so that the, his cronies can make all the money that they can and then give him the rest. And then this criminal, this terrorist that calls himself, I forgot what his name is, the one that ties up with like a woman and his beard, I don't know if he's a goat or a ram over there. He's saying that Nigeria should be terrorist. The terrorist Shekumi. He say, as our people are dying, look at what they're saying. As people are dying. They're not hiding these things. They say it in public. They come. It's only those that don't want to listen that will not hear them. They Even the deaf can hear them. That's Shekumi, the one that uh, goes to give uh, the headers um, uh, the terrorist money ransom. Shegumi knows where the terrorists are in bushes to go and give them money. The Nigerian military does not know where they are to go and stop them. It's sad. Yes, he says that Nigeria should negotiate with the terrorists and stop wasting billions of naira. Unbelievable. Very insulting. Villagers flee as bandits overwhelm Amote Kun in parts of Ondo. That's in Ruba. No. This is uh, January the 6th. So this yeah. is uh, barely a week ago. That's in Ruba land now, southwest. For people that say, oh, southwest is peaceful. <laughs> you will not be peaceful for too long if you don't do the right thing.